Hey you guys, it's your girl Tempest Nicole coming back to you guys. I have been gone for a little minute. I know my last video that I posted, I was supposed to be back and I was supposed to post every week. But you know, life happened. You hear me? But your girl is back. So be sure you hit that subscribe button. Do whatever you need to do. Call your auntie, call your granny, call your cousin Tay Tay. Okay, you guys, now that I'm back, I know a lot of people have a lot of questions for me. A lot of people have a lot of monkey questions. Y'all can hear him in the background, I believe so. I can't have him out while I'm filming because I can't stay focused, but probably at the end of this video, so stay tuned, I might let him make it a little appearance. You hear me? So I did write in my phone a couple questions that people have for me. Uh, a majority of them and I get this question all the time. Okay, where you been? A lot of people follow me on TikTok. I got millions of followers on TikTok. Uh, I have, I want to say six figures. Do they call Instagram followers six figures or what the fuck do they call it? Whatever. I got 116,000 followers. So I stay active on Instagram. I stay active on TikTok now. I don't post as much as I used to y'all. I did have some traumatic things happen to me in my life. I did go through depression, mental health and stuff like that with the passing of my best friend. I don't think I'm just quite ready to talk about what happened with that, but yeah. So we'll talk about that on another time, but so your girl been working. I've been getting back to it. Um, I no longer sell hair anymore. So that was my first business. So I know a lot of my subbies on here follow me from going to China, going to Vietnam, going to Dubai, going to India to source hair and things like that. A lot of people are emailing me about do I still do my hair tours or anything like that. I'm thinking about starting my hair tours. I'm not even just going to call it hair tours because I know how to source a lot of products from different places. So I'm just going to say... Start your business tour. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet, but you catch my drift. So I know in different countries that they sell different things. I know China was going, they're known for like clothing. They're known for like shoes. I know people don't be wanting a Wookie. I think my dude call them Wookies. Wookies is the fake shoes. But if you want to start your own boutique or whatever, you don't necessarily have to resell. Necessarily, necessarily. Is this the veneers where I can't talk? Uh, y'all see my video with my teeth. If y'all want me to talk about my teeth, I know a lot of people had questions about my teeth but that's a whole nother video if y'all want me to talk about my teeth assist, we can talk about that too in another video so this is just like a comeback video for me and where i've been and i need y'all to stay tuned rock with me i'm gonna try to post once a week with you guys but let me get into the questions that everybody been asking so question number one how did i get a monkey i bought them I know a lot of people gonna be like, how much? My monkey was $10,000. And I know a lot of people are like, what the fuck did you buy $10,000? I bought what I wanted. I had the money to do so. I did not go broke to buy a monkey. I've had him for almost three years now. Um, I got him when he was five months. For all my people who want a monkey, I have a squirrel monkey. So for all my people who want a monkey, get it as a newborn. I got him when he was five months and that's why he bad now. Okay, so the people who had him before me, he got some bad habits. We just had to thug it out. I had to pamper train him. I had to do different things with him. So a monkey is almost, I can't say uh, worse than a dog. Some monkeys are different. A boo is a loner. So he, as long as he got food, he good. It's the dog that's the worst one. Okay, let's get let's get to that. But yeah, a boo was ten thousand dollars. I got him from a lady in Florida. Uh, my homeboy connected me with him, and I ended up getting my child. I stay in Texas. They are legal in Texas. You don't need a permit, just depending on what city you are in. Okay, so be sure you do your research. Don't get scammed by the people who selling monkeys. You send a deposit, and you get no monkey, and you get no money back. Okay, so that will be funny too. Okay, you guys. Question. Look like I'm doing something now. Question number two. How is dating after your divorce? That, I think that's a whole nother video. I'm gonna have to talk about it, but I went through a lot of BS individuals to find my equal. I'm very, very thankful for him. And yeah, if you seen the post, you seen the post on my IG. That is my pumpkin pie. Yeah, that's a whole nother story, y'all. Let me get the question number three, though. That, that's a whole nother video, and I'm gonna tell y'all, but I'm excited about this one. Question number three. Do I still do Airbnb? No, I do not like Airbnb. <laughs> I do not like it. I got so many apartments. For me, Airbnb was more like a job to me, 
and Airbnb was supposed to be passive income, meaning that that's just money that's hands off, passive income, that'll be my travel money. I'm not supposed to break nails and be out there cleaning. Like, no, even though it is certain things that can be set up in place for that to happen. I got into Airbnb when it first was popping some years back, like, right? COVID and it was good and everything. It was just too hands on for me. Like the messaging people, I had employees, I had cleaners. I had to fire them and all type of stuff. And Airbnb is not how Airbnb used to be. I know a lot of people be like, oh, I made $10,000 in a month and da da da. I'm not saying that it's not true and I'm not saying that it can't be done, that it cannot be done. But yeah, you can't believe everything that you see on these ads, okay? Let's get, take it from me who had 13 apartments at one time okay let's just leave it at that but no i don't do airbnb i do do still do real estate i do have my properties that i have tenants and stuff in that i actually own and stuff like that too uh being a landlord is a headache too but i love real estate i love it i love it i can't say that so if anybody want to get into anything real estate is the way to go especially with the economy and stuff like that but it is different ways to get into real estate so i might start my mentorship up for that so stay tuned for that but we'll see what's going on with that Okay, question number four, what country am I going to next? Um, I do love to travel. Travel is like therapy for me. So if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see the, the, the thong swimsuits. That's just me, that's what I do. I don't I don't think I own a full bottom swimsuit to be honest, but I'm going to Honduras and then me and Honey are going to Africa. I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited about that. I'm ready to go to Africa. Like I'm ready, I'm one of those people who's very adventurous safari animals if y'all can't tell from my instagram because i post every animal that i've encountered or anything like that i posted i want to be a veterinarian growing up can y'all believe it a veterinarian <laughs> i want to be a veterinarian but then when i got out of high school and realized how long i had to go to college for i was like mm. but to be honest if you want to be real about it then I'm, I'm gonna shave myself right now as long as my ass stayed in college, I could have had a goddamn veterinarian degree by now. You hear me? Because your girl, it took me more than four years at the university. I was BSing, but you know, don't judge me. Okay, so my next question is, how many times have I went viral? Y'all, that's not even a question that I can even keep up with anymore because I went viral, went, went, in, I went, in, I went, for all my English people who gonna try to correct me on what, what the word was supposed to be, we all, we, 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 whatever. But, um, I made the shave room a couple times within four months. I made the shave room like twice within four months. That's, it was crazy when the shave room, you see it, it's the roach costume. And it's like the crazy part, if y'all haven't seen none of my roach costume videos, it's like, the, the very first video that I did with that roach costume, I had had the costume for years, okay? When I first started TikTok. And I got, I put it on and I just knew instantly that the video was gonna go viral. I knew it. And I said it in like one of my Instagram stories. It was like, if, if this video don't go viral, somebody lying, cause I know this shit funny. But you know how sometimes you think your shit really, really funny and you only get about 20 likes on that thing. But no, it hit as soon as I posted it. But the shade room maybe messaged me probably like two weeks later and was like, hey, we like your video, can we repost this? And I'm like, hell yeah, the what? The shade room reached out to me and I think the first time I made the shade room, I had probably like maybe 12,000 followers. I think I got 50,000 followers the first time I made the shade room. I went viral on TikTok. I done lost count how many times I done went viral on TikTok. Uh, the shake of time. I went viral on Instagram. I made the shade room again. I think I ended up getting maybe 50 to 60,000 followers. Like they was just coming. I am thankful, you hear me? But I need them followers to turn into dollars, okay? So I need all my, you hear, I got 1.5 million followers on TikTok. I need TikTok to go ahead and turn into 1.5 million subscribers, you hear me? I need it. And then add my little 116 to my YouTube. You know, I need to get this video rolling, okay? Because TikTok and Instagram don't pay good. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so y'all ready for me to let Lil Badass out? Because I know that's what y'all was waiting for. Y'all thought I was gonna bring him. Let me, I'm gonna have to bribe him though for him to be still because he gonna be all around here and he gonna tear up some shit. Let me go get him some grapes, whatever. Y'all know he liked them vanilla wafers, but we ain't got none, so. 
grace it is, but he's a garbage disposal. He eat anything, okay? He will try to, he will taste it. He will tear your motherfucking braid off your hair and try to taste it and be like, now nah, he don't want that because it don't taste like that. But let me introduce y'all. Okay, y'all, so he about to come. I knew he was about to come. He see the grapes, first of all. So he knew, look how you do. Are you gonna be nice? Are you gonna bite it? You gonna bite it? Bite it, there you go. Good job, eat it. Bite it, son. Yep, bite it. He trying to run from the dog at the same time, but I'm gonna eat one too. Not the... Hey, this is the one you licked off of. Bite it, there you go. Because I know when you get the grape, you're gonna run out and the people trying to see you. Come here, Cooper. Y'all wanna see the dog? Here go the dog. This is my other rodent. This is Cooper. Say hi, Cooper. Say, I ain't got no clothes on. I'm naked. He's trying to catch the monkey. Do they get along? Uh, for months, they did not. Now they are kind of like tag buddies. They run around. Look, you trying to get to a boo boo? He trying to get to a boo. Hey, don't knock over my stuff. Yeah. Uh. Cut, cut the film. A few minutes later. All right, so you guys subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about next. Both of them about to get a bath, but separately because is that, that, that's what he said. Okay. Say bye.